Hi, I'm Judy Shear Waters. Welcome to my channel. Here I bring you author interviews of people who had a story they wanted to share with the world. I also bring you short, quick writing prompts to maybe get the creative juices going in your brain to write your memoir, one story at a time. Because, did you know? You do have a story in you. So let me help you tell it. So today, I'm thinking about this illness I've just come through, asthma. I still keep, I'm still working with it or fighting it in this weather here in South Texas. It's just the air quality is not the best right now. So I fight this asthma every day between the nebulizer, the inhaler, the cough syrups, the, the I don't know, the prednisone, the antihistamines, whatever. Ah, oh, I've had my fill. And I'll let you know, I am not a silent sufferer. I am not. I tell my husband all the time how I feel, much to his dismay. On the other side of it, my husband is a silent sufferer. He just wants to be left alone. If he has, if he's sick at all, just leave me alone. Close the bedroom door, leave me alone. But not me. <laughs> not me. I want everyone to know I feel bad. What about you? How do you handle illness? How have you handled it in the past? I also, illness also makes me think back at my childhood days, back on the farm in Pennsylvania. As a young child, my mother would pull out the, the sofa sleeper. If one of us was sick with a cold, she'd get all the heavy quilts, make it real warm with, um, with those um, hot, hot water bags. And she would cook up a mustard and onion plaster, put it in a bag and lay it on our chest. It was her thinking that it would draw out the infection in our chest. Maybe it did, I don't know. When my mom was a small child, her father made her take a teaspoon of kerosene every night before she went to bed. Phew. Or he also had her do um, uh, cod liver oil, a teaspoon of that. Her aunt made her do a teaspoon of Epsom salt every morning and wash it down with water. Ah, that's amazing. It's a wonder my mom lived to be 99. <laughs> so... What remedies in your past have you been through? Have you had to go through? Or you've heard about? Or on the other, another writing prompt could be, how do you handle illness? Think back of an illness that you had. What happened? Think of your five senses. Um, what did you see? What did you hear? What did people say? Um, what, or another one, what did you hear? Did you have a ringing in your ear? maybe tendonitis, whatever, and you just couldn't get rid of it. Um, what did you smell? Did you have any strange smells, you know, that you just like, some people have said something about a metallic smell at sometimes, or what did you taste, uh, or the taste of the terrible cough syrup that you've had to take? Write about this, and uh, again, remember those five senses, bring those out. This would be an, a fun story. For your generations to come to read. If you enjoy receiving videos like this with short writing prompts, subscribe to my channel. Press that little bell there so you're notified every time I bring out another video like this. And go ahead and like my channel too. And leave a comment. Tell me about your illness. Maybe a funny story. Maybe one not so funny. I answer every everyone who comments. So until next time, I'm Judy Shearwaters. You have a story to tell. Let me help you tell it.